It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 1795, Five Reasons to Create Space in Your Life, by Jessica of nachoaveragefro.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, your narrator, reading to you from some of the best blogs in the world every day covering personal development and growth, lifestyle, minimalism, and more. For now, let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. Five Reasons to Create Space in Your Life by Jessica of nachoaveragefro.com. Over the last couple of years, minimalism has taught me many indispensable life lessons. It's even changed my life in ways that I never could have imagined. Today, I'm reflecting on my journey and sharing with you five reasons why we should declutter and create space. Create space to figure out who you are. There was a time in my life where the only thing I was confident about was the fact that I didn't know who I was. Minimalism changed that by creating an opportunity for me to think. It's hard to be clear about what you want or need if you never have the opportunity to sit still. What many people don't realize is that every time we allow something into our lives, it steals our power. Each time you purchase a new item, not only does it take your money, but it also demands that you use it, clean it, fix it, move it, replace it, and store it. It's no wonder that so many people feel like they never have the time or the energy to sit, think, and plan. All their stuff has robbed them of it. The same applies to people, thoughts, habits, even our hobbies. Each one requires an investment of our time, money, and attention to survive. When we choose to let go, we take back ownership of our own life. With that power, we finally have the opportunity to decide how we'd prefer to use our time, money, and attention to become our best selves. Create space to do what you need and love to do. Prior to decluttering my home, I always felt like I didn't have the time to accomplish my goals or complete my to-dos. Do you have a list of things you want to do but never seem to find the time? Try decluttering. After I decluttered my home and took back control, I found myself with lots of time on my hands hours and hours that had been dedicated to television watching, drinking with friends, sleeping, eating unnecessarily, and other unproductive activities were suddenly available to me. With that newfound time, I began working on my goals. I also became comfortable with choosing me and what I want. In the beginning, my goals list included stuff other people wanted me to do, stuff I needed to do for work, stuff society said I should be doing, and stuff I needed to do for myself. By choosing to let go of what doesn't serve me, I accelerated my ability to check goals off the list. Within two years, I started a company, created a conference, lost 35 pounds, got a new job, and moved to a new city. Each time I create more space, I find the opportunity to check more and more off the list. Create space for new habits and patterns. Decluttering my home and examining my stuff taught me a lot about my habits. Sometimes, as I learned, I would pat myself on the back. Other times, I felt embarrassed. As you declutter your life, you'll inevitably find time for self-reflection. If used wisely, this time will allow you to nurture the habits and patterns that you love and begin working on those that you'd like to change. Through this process, I've become more confident in my natural abilities and talents and increasingly aware of patterns of perfectionism, anxiousness, and procrastination that have hindered me in the past. Create space for the people who will support you. This may seem cliche, but it needs to be said even if it's just for my own good. Sometimes people grow apart and everyone won't continue with you on your journey. With this realization, we can be empowered to choose how we spend our time and who we spend it with. Look at the relationships in your life. Which ones are assisting you on the way to a life you love? Which are draining you and holding you back? Give priority to and make space for the relationships that provide benefit to your life. Create space to finance your dreams. Decluttering your life will assist you in clarifying what is truly a necessity. If you take heed, you'll find that a significant portion of your finances will be freed up. Money typically spent shopping, eating, drinking, and Paying for subscriptions you don't use can be utilized for trips, classes, events, and leisurely activities instead. With the money I saved for cutting monthly subscriptions and spending less, I paid off my credit card debt 
and saved up enough money to create and fund my very own conference. Which of these are you most excited to create space for? You just listened to the post titled Five Reasons to Create Space in Your Life by Jessica of nachoaveragefro.com. Now, how many toilet paper rolls can you buy with $79? 70 rolls, 60, 50? What if I told you there's a better way for your family to stay hygienic without fighting over your tissue paper supply? It's crazy that most of us wipe instead of wash after we're done with number two. And it's gross to wash your butt in your bathtub after doing your business. And bidets usually cost thousands of dollars. This is why you need the Hello Tushy Modern Bidet Attachment, my favorite purchase of this year personally. Hello Tushy offers clean butts to everyone with the use of a precise stream of fresh water for just $79. All you need to do is attach it to your existing toilet, no electricity or additional plumbing required. You'll cut your toilet paper use up to 80%, which means your Hello Tushy bidet attachment pays for itself in just a few months. Recycle, reduce, reuse, and decrease environmental waste in the process. Every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. I have one myself, like I said, saved me many toilet paper trips. Join millions of happy Hello Tushy customers right now and start eliminating waste responsibly. Go to hellotushy.com slash old to get 10% off. This is a special offer for our listeners. Go to hellotushy.com slash old for 10% off. hellotushy.com slash old. Thank you to Jess. Nacho Average Fro is spelled nacho, N-A-C-H-O, then averagefro.com. When decluttering, we often think about just the process or the very simple end result of a cleaner and more open space. But like Jess mentioned, there are many different additional benefits when living in a more minimal space. I've mentioned it on the show in the last few weeks, but for me, if my space is cluttered, then my brain feels cluttered. Or when my brain feels cluttered, I feel like my space gets more cluttered. It's a nice feedback loop. So I find that decluttering my physical space will also bring me more clarity, focus, and less anxiety in my head. It's quite cathartic. Plus, you can listen to podcasts while you're doing it. So it's a two-in-one. And on that note, thank you for listening. Hope you're having a great day and start to your week and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.